Welcome back to Many Acres Homestead. And today, we're finally gonna let the chicks out of their dog crate that we got in the uh, chicken coop. But first, Colt wants to show us his little fish tank. Whoa, he caught Nanny into this. So he's got some little crawdads in there. Where are they, Colton? They're behind us. Biggie and small. Oh, I see one back there. Oh, they're both back there. <laughs> Colton calls them crayfish and he gets mad if you call them anything else, but <laughs> some of you call them crawdads. I call them crawdads. Colton calls them crayfish. Wait, I call them crayfish with Colton. Crawfish. Don't get mad. Colton, what have you been doing? And he's got shrimp and a snail in there. There's the snail. And they're watching his favorite. I don't know his name, but Colton loves those YouTube videos. Colton. <laughs> Here's our scraps that we give our chickens. <laughs> Broccoli, cauliflower, cheese. Yeah. Usually it's a lot of the kids' food that they get. But if we leave the run open so then the dogs run down there and eat it. Or if Bo's in the top field that we have, Bo will run down and eat it. <laughs> the chickens get it most of the time, hopefully. Yeah. Our chicks have been in there. We thought we were going to take them out a couple weeks ago and we decided to leave them in there a little bit longer because well, they're kind of small. And, and Kayla. Kayla went on a Rambo mission and let them out on her own without me. And uh, Bubblegum chased them around. So hopefully they'll be a little bit better now. Because they've been in there, how long you think? Like 12 weeks? They haven't been in there for 12 weeks. No, not in here. But, oh, that, that's how old they are. They've probably been in there for a month. And then we got Tiny over here. She runs the coop. She or he runs the coop. I don't know. But she just eats, or he, I don't know. Eats all the scraps they eat. And he just pecks around with them. And when he's out here, he's eating bugs and stuff. I don't know why when you get them from the store, they say to... Only give him the chicken feed, but he's been eating natural foods and stuff, and he's doing just fine. And then here's sweet Bonnie. You want to try some? Bonnie's the sweetest, but we love Bonnie. Her stomach's not going down since she's been up here, but she's, a big girl. she's still eating pretty good. Yesterday is when we did, uh, or two do two days ago is when we did that fertilizer. So it's supposed to rain today. Seems pretty cloudy out, so we're hoping that. We'll be able to spread the fertilizer into the ground and that'll be nice. But right now we got to clean the chicken coop, get the baby chicks out, and then we'll see how they do with the other chickens. We're hoping there won't be any issues. Uh, we'll do she that. My what did she do? I didn't see. She would put her head between my legs. Oh, really? I was worried about the weeds growing on the fence, but Bo walks back and forth so much that he's going to keep it dusty for me. Huh, Bo? Hopefully soon we'll let him out together. But we're still kind of worried if he'll be mean to her or not. If you guys know anything about donkeys, please let us know what the age difference is of what we can let them be together. Because I'd like them to be together, not separated anymore. But she's, how old is she, 10 months or 11 months now? And then Bo's over two years old. So please guys leave a comment below if you guys know what we could do with the donkeys. Because I'd like them to be together and then they have their shelter over there when it rains. She like doesn't even care if I get on her, but I'm scared. Put your weight on her. It's not too little. Yeah, the little one beats up the big chickens, so I think they know Mama would back her up if anything happened. But we got to get these chicks out of here because <clears throat> we're tired of cleaning this dog crate. It's going to have a lot of poop in there right now, so nobody judge. But they're ready to get out of there. They're getting big. And yeah, we got to clean the rest of this coop. You guys are getting huge. I think they'll be fine together. There's, that's our bantam. She doesn't look very small. <laughs> the bantam? Uh-uh. She's a She's a bantam baby. silky. Look like at bubblegum already knows. We're gonna let someone out. We're gonna take the crate all the way out because I gotta oh, clean in there. Okay. We're gonna get this out. Get I'm gonna clean the rest of the coop, get the flies out of here, and then uh, we'll come get back in. when we release the krakens. All right, Broody Judy, you gotta get your baby out of here. Huh? Talking to the chicken. So what I do when I clean this, just have a shovel, scoop out where most of the poop's at, throw it in here, and then, uh, spread wood chips around and it's worked pretty good we've had our chickens for about a year and a half never had any incidents of getting sick or anything so it's been working for us and i'll spray powdered uh lime in here and then i have fly spray also that i spray in here after i put the fresh wood chips down with this youtube channel guys i don't know if you guys like watching like work montages or if you like uh just getting straight to the point but just drop a comment down below what you guys want to see. Uh, these videos are made mostly for my family and just our life so we can watch it later when we're older. But now that we've gotten 
a tiny bit of a following just let us know <laughs> what types of videos you guys like to see like do you like them straight to the point and shorter or do you like the longer videos with where we're working and it's showing more montages with music and stuff i don't know either way we're still gonna make the videos even if nobody likes them because it's, it's more for us but we also want to try to cater to our new subscribers that we're getting so let us know down below the interaction's nice when i get comments from you guys even if it's just to say hi it's pretty cool <laughs> but and if you're doing home setting yeah and if you guys are into home setting or doing anything like that or you have constructive criticism for us just let us know we can start trying to form the videos more to what you guys like while we're still recording for us so we can watch them in the future but yeah i don't know interaction's awesome and we if we get likes then we kind of know that we're doing good or uh stuff like that so just hit the like video subscribe if you guys enjoy these videos so you don't miss future videos but uh i'm gonna clean this out like i said and we'll be back in a second so we've got a fresh layer of uh, wood chips down and if you guys watch our other video where cookie was really broody and she wouldn't come out we put those rocks in there to stop her from going in and it worked okay. the very next day she was out of there walking around with her baby chick you can see him right there and she hasn't tried to be broody since. I saw some tips on Instagram <laughs> of, like of uh, like taping it off or actually putting your chicken in a bucket of cold water. We didn't have to do any of that. We just put the rocks in there and she was good the next day. She hasn't tried to be broody since. Uh, I just scoop all this, the wood chips in there. It really wasn't that dirty in there. And then I dump them up there in the corner to keep it away from the cows and stuff. I was throwing it out here. And then once we learned about Bulboa dying from coccidiosis, I stopped doing that. So I don't want anybody to get sick. I don't think our chickens have it, but just no, to be I safe. Don't have it, but. Yeah. So just to be safe. And then we'll show you guys how I spread the lime out. And then uh, our fly spray that we spray in here. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but you can see there's a lot of flies flying around right now. Go ahead, shut that door so they can't jump out the back. Yeah, she's, she's cute. I put food and water in there for her because I don't think she can reach the water. I hope she's a hen because <laughs> we're pretty sure we got three roosters in here. We're going to have to try to give them to someone or something because I've seen videos already and our neighbors have killed their rooster and cleaned them and stuff and they're super, super tough. So I don't really want to butcher them because it's not worth it. Pretty gross, I guess, to try to eat a rooster. They're so tough from testosterone. Kayla pulled out the eggs. Right now we're getting four eggs a day. Yeah. When uh, a hen's raising a chick i don't know what happens i guess they just she might start laying now as much. um is that thunder no it's a motorcycle oh. <laughs> uh, so this is our setup how we have the run we just keep all our food in a big tote right here yeah it's, it's worked, worked out well out. we haven't had any animals try to get in no rain or anything anything. anything either so we keep the food the big chicken food is in here and then we got like their snacks and stuff scratch the, worms, scratch. the chick food lime. but here's our lime grit in our grit. We haven't put that out in a while. I have. Have you? So my dad got this off Amazon. Lime's pretty expensive. I don't even remember how much we paid. How much was that like? Like 30 bucks a bag or something? It wasn't 60. For Wasn't it for two though? No, we only got one. Oh. We're on the same bag. This little spreader will help you I'll save see you, it. see you, Bonnie. Before I was just getting a cup and throwing it in there and kind of wasting it. My dad bought this off Amazon and it spreads it a little bit more even and We'll show you that right now as I'm wasting all of it. I know. So that we got this spray from uh, Atwoods, and you're supposed to spray on the chickens, I believe, and it keeps the ticks and everything and fleas and stuff like that. But we use it as a fly deterrent, and I sprayed in the coop. It worked really well last time. Look at this sweat on his back. Welcome to Arkansas, Bonnie. Your tummy's no. big enough, girl. Super humid right now because the storm's coming in. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't live in the south or anything we're from california if you guys already know that and we never experienced any weather like this but it'll get super super humid right before the storm comes in and it drops yeah it's really nice out so i'm kind of excited for that me but, too so i don't know if you guys can see how much the flies have already dropped just from getting out the poop, the poop. so i just spread this around and this will keep down the the bugs the fleas and everything from getting on the chickens so i just this thing is really nice how it works so if you kind of turn it at an angle it shoots a lot better if it kind of gets saturated down there it'll shoot out in like clumps so kind of turn it sideways i just spread it everywhere so this is on the new wood chips that i just spread out spray it in the boxes all right 
So and this is the same that. as um, DE, isn't it? Like a similar? It's different, but I think it works in the same fashion. It works in the same, uh, yeah. The flies have already dropped tremendously just from that. But then I spray this too. This is like an added. So instead of spraying it on the chickens, I just spray it all over. And also when you put uh, new wood chips in, the chickens will come in and spread it around themselves. So if you just get that top layer, and then they'll spread the rest. But really, you could just throw giant clumps of wood chips in, and then they spread it for you. I don't know how much this is at Atwoods, but that's where we bought it from. And that should be good. That's probably more than enough. And then I'll just spray the rest of this under the run. It's about to rain, so I probably won't do it right now. But you guys can see zero flies inside. Yeah, and there's a lot out here. They're all outside, just flying around. That's how we try to keep the flies down in our chicken coop. Really need to invest in a tripod. <laughs> I know. We're gonna buy one tomorrow. And I'm still trying to shoot all this stuff on my phone because I don't know if I should upgrade to a better camera, but we're thinking about it. It's like 500 bucks, so I don't know if we wanna make that expense right now. Excuse me, Bonbon. Bon. Yeah, let me get a better grip. Doing everything with one hand makes it harder. I know. Wrong man. Wrong like bull. Bubble gum, don't attack them. Nice this side's got the door. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, because I gotta open it. Mommy, don't, don't break the egg. Feel the raindrops coming. All right, oh, no. go inside. Please be nice, bubble gum, okay? You guys are gonna be out of this drama, cutie pies. Colton named him bubble gum because his mohawk is, what's it called? Comb. Comb. It looks like a smashed piece of, chewed up piece of bubble gum. <laughs> If you guys don't know anything about chickens, the little bit of knowledge we have, they have a pecking order. Someone will be at the top of the chain, which is usually the rooster. And then uh, the rest will figure it out after that. But they just gotta figure out the dominance. Look at they're free! They're free. Seems like they're doing good so far. What I'm just worried about is them pecking their eyes. Yeah, and getting them hurt. Yeah, so they're a decent size now. They could at least get away. So we'll just let them do their thing for a second. See how they do. Good girl. Be nice. I know there's gonna be a little bit of that. So they've been looking at him through the cage for a month now. Yeah, about a month. He doesn't seem like he's picking on him too bad. Yeah. Good I just boy, want him to come bird. out. Hey, Big B. Big B. Big B. Come here, Big Bertha. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. So this little thing she has on her back <laughs> is a cover that goes around her wings because Bubblegum picks Look, on her a lot. Not anymore, but... but yeah, we just kept her on her. So he was ripping all her feathers out. She likes it. And if you guys know when they are getting the deed on, the rooster will bite onto the back of the chicken and hold onto the feathers until he's done. Oh. It only takes a couple seconds, but here, he was ripping all her feathers out. So this helps with that preventing the feathers getting ripped out. Plan is to leave them in the run for a couple weeks so they get used to being outside because they've never even been outside with yeah, us. They've, they've never... just been up in our shed and then they've been in this coop. They're gonna get used to this area so when it's evening time, hopefully they'll figure out how to come back to the run. Yeah. And hopefully they'll stay with the little flock. How are we gonna but... let the other ones free range? They just won't anymore for a while? Yeah, they'll just be stuck in here with them. There they go. Okay, bubblegum. Good boy. So overall, he's a really nice rooster. I kind of wish he was a little bit tougher. Colton said, oh. I loved Rambo. I I loved when he chased me around. <laughs> and so, he pecked, yeah. what did he say? He pecked my head or something? Really? Like, you love that, Colton? He's like, yeah, I miss him. <laughs> yeah, Rambo was our old rooster. He was really cool. He was, so cool. He was the original. Yeah. And he would chase you a little bit, but if you stopped him and yeah, showed him fine. that you were more dominant, he'd respect you. And he died protecting the hens. He disappeared one day and he never left the hens, so we're pretty sure he got eaten by something trying to protect the hens. Because one day he was just gone. No feathers or anything. So these are our five OGs. Yeah, and these are our, our second flock that we got. So they're slowly coming out, taking their time. We're not trying to force them out. We got the OG crew down here, laying up underneath. If you guys ever saw the coyote video, I'll put it down in the link. One night a coyote came out and pushed through. We just had the little cheap chicken wire push through there and actually open that door. So we had guineas before and they were all, we couldn't get them in at night and they never wanted to go in. Yeah. And they would sleep on this run 
right here during the night. So I think the coyote pushed the door open. I think that something else. Something else, and then he just yeah. came at the wrong time. Other things were getting them through this up here too. On yeah. The so slowly over time, we we lost chickens, and we slowly fortified it. But the one night when this got pushed in right here, they pushed this door open, and they had just massacred all of our chickens, and then. Howdy came out right after we came down to see all the massacre and I ended up getting it with the shotgun and uh, since then we've had zero issues that's the reason main reason we got the donkeys was to keep them safer to have them in this field they're slowly making their way downtown walking oh, fast <laughs> <laughs> but when these little guys come out we'll clean this water up yeah. and then uh, let them be and see how they do uh, by themselves the babies are out now we got one more that's trying to come out you could do it you could do it! This is their first dust bath that they're doing. Yeah, it's so exciting. Yeah, they haven't done any of this before. They've just been locked up this whole time. If they all get along, we are going to have a disco party. I'm serious. Kayla's disco party. But... Good chickens. That's how they keep the mites off and the fleas and everything. We got them all out now. We got to do a little bit of coax and spritz the hose down there and they all came out. Of course, now that I'm recording, Bubblegum stopped. He was chasing this guy around I think but he's just pecking at their butts he's not pecking at their eyes at least yeah. so. so far it's just bubblegum chasing him I don't see any of the hens really Big Birdie Judy did one round and Big Bertha did one round yeah we got to finish uh, the water put their food and stuff back in there and then keep an eye on them and the thunder's coming in right now, so it should be raining pretty soon, I think. It looks pretty open over there, but we gotta do these little bit of chores, and then we'll come back and end the video. We got all the waters changed out. Kayla put some uh, vitamins and probiotic in there for them. Food's good. Zero flies in there. And the chickens are doing pretty decent. What they've been doing is they'll chase one of the small ones down and hold her down in the corner, and then like peck out her butt a little bit. But not even hard. Not but like yeah, that's not like super aggressive or anything. But they just keep staying huddled over there. The other chickens are just doing their normal thing. So eventually they'll get used to each other. We're going to end the video here. Like we said, you guys leave comments for us. And uh, we want to try to get to know the people that are following us. Uh, give us some recommendations or any constructive criticism. And we'd like to hear from you guys. Don't forget to like the video to show your support. And subscribe if you guys enjoy these videos and want to see our homestead keep growing. And like we've said, it's been crazy since we started doing all this and trying to raise some animals and stuff. But we appreciate you guys, and as always, remember, one step at a time. We've had them in here for about a week now, and they're all doing good. But even Tiny hangs out with them. Who wants to ride the chicken? You want to ride the chicken, Logan? Big B just, look at Big B's chasing, Big B just chased Tiny and Hector.